G'day guys, quick video. I'm doing the Barrel Classic Grand Fondo this Sunday. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be eating to fuel this event. This is the route here. It's 154 Ks. It says moving time five hours. We'll probably do this in four hours and 15 minutes, around that. Uh, this is the course here, no major climbs, just lumpy all day. And the pace is gonna be on the entire time. We're probably gonna average high 30, so it's a massive calorie burner. Uh, so we also will not be stopping at any of the feed zones in the group I'm in. So everything I need fueling wise for the event needs to start with me in my back pocket, which I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm taking and my fueling plan right now. Fueling plans always start with the carbohydrate targets, how much I wanna be getting in per hour. For me, that's between 100 and 110 grams per hour for the entire event. Keep in mind, I am 76 kilos. My FTP at the moment is probably 385, 390. That is the fuel to power my engine. The fuel that you're gonna need to power your engine may be different. If your FTP is a bit lower and you're a bit of a smaller rider, you probably don't need to be getting in 100 grams an hour. My preference for fueling is to have all my carbohydrates in my back pockets for an event like this so I know exactly how much I need to be taking in. For me, I'm gonna be using sugar water literally sugar dissolved in water, which I'm gonna make in a set. I'm gonna be holding that sugar, well, it's more of a syrup, it's not really a water. I'm gonna be holding that sugar syrup in these squeezable flasks, which I bought from eBay a few years ago. And then to keep my stomach settled and just keep the hung hunger signals away, I will take a tokenistic two or three little muesli bars. I've got these fruit ones, which are like apple cinnamon stuffed ones. I think they're for kids. And then these other caramel ones, which they're only like 20 grams of carb each. I'll probably take three of those just to have throughout the ride. In my bottles on the actual bike, I will just have water. I find it's easier if I just run water in the bottles and then carbs are in my pockets. It's easier to keep track of how much I'm consuming. The temperature is gonna be quite cool and I'm not a salty sweater. So I will not be taking in any excess electrolytes throughout this ride, aside from what comes in from those uh, little muesli bars, which have a little bit of sodium in them. So the event's about four hours and 15 minutes. I'm going for 100 to 110 grams of carbs an hour. So I'm gonna take with me about 500 grams of carbohydrates, of sugar, and that's what I'm gonna do now. So what I will we'll do is set up my pot on the scales. I'm gonna get a bag of white sugar. I'm gonna pour in 500 grams. That's what I wanna dissolve into water to make sort of a syrup and then put in my flask. So measure out the 500 grams and then basically top up the little flasks I have with water to measure out the amount. And then I'm just gonna dump that into the pot. Now I actually made a mistake here. If you fill up two of your flasks to full and dump them in, by the time you add in the mass from the sugar, it's gonna go slightly over the volume of the flasks once it's all dissolved. So you need to actually put in slightly less water. Then I'm just gonna grab the pot, put it on the stove, turn the gas on, and then just stir that around while it dissolves. It doesn't need to boil or anything. Pretty much get it up to a warm temperature, keep stirring, and that'll dissolve in quite nicely. As you can see, this is the consistency of it at the start. It's quite cloudy, and then you can see at the end, it basically goes clear. It's fully dissolved, so not an issue getting that dissolved in there. This is where it gets interesting. I wanna have caffeine on this ride and I don't wanna be using caffeine gels because I've got all my carbs in these two flasks. So what I'm actually gonna do is make a caffeine flask and a, and a plain carbohydrate flask. So to make the caffeine flask, I'm gonna get Nodos tablets, which are just caffeine tablets. They have 100 milligrams of caffeine in each tablet. For me, I wanna have about four milligrams of caffeine per kilogram of body weight. I don't like taking the caffeine tablets in, the back, in my back pockets. I find they're quite hard to rip open the foil to get the tablets out. I prefer crushing them up and putting them in the, the sugar flask. So to do this, I've got the, my 300 milligrams of caffeine. Just put that on a chopping board and just smash it with a, another pot. It crumbles pretty easily. And then I'm just gonna scrape that into one of the flasks. Make sure you mark which one's which because you don't wanna be smashing all that caffeine in the first hour of the race. I like to, to backload my caffeine and have that in the second half of the event. So that just goes in there and then when I pour the syrup in, it'll dissolve in the, in, in the sugar syrup. This really doesn't take that long. As you can see, sugar syrups dissolve. So I'm just gonna use a funnel, put that in the flask and then pour the sugar syrup in to top up right to the top. And then I've got my two flasks there. I just need to make sure I finish that first flask in the first two hours of the event and then make sure I finish the second flask 
by the time the event finishes, or really with about 20 minutes to go, I wanna make sure that flask is empty and I will know I've hit my carbohydrate targets. These are pretty good, they don't leak, but I do store these in a plastic Ziploc bag and then just leave that in the fridge just to keep it cool overnight. And just to summarize, this is the final wrap up. Now you can see one of these flasks is bigger because I put too much water in, I've had to use a bigger flask, which is kind of annoying because that's a lot of weight in the back pocket. But guys, the video's not done yet. We're gonna have a bit of fun because this cost me probably $2, sugar, a dollar, no dose tablets, probably another dollar. So I'm, I'm $2 uh, funding for my fueling for this event. What would this cost me if I use mainline nutrition products? So we've got the main ones here. Now, keep in mind, you can't, when you're doing this quantity of fueling carbohydrates per hour, this over 100 grams, you can't use a lot of the mainline gels because they're only maltodextrin based. So you've got to use uh, products like beta fuel, which have this maltodextrin, which is just glucose to fructose ratio, close to one to one. Now sugar's one to one. The ones they use in most of these products is one to 0.8. For all intents and purposes, that's pretty much the same. I'm getting a couple of extra grams of fructose um, you know, per serve, which is not a big deal. So pretty much this sugar water is gonna fuel me just as well as any of these products. But enough rambling, let's have a look at the prices here. So this is SIS beta fuel gels. These are really good, but the problem is they're just expensive. So this is the Australian website here. 40 grams of carbs per gel. To get my 500 grams of carbs I want, I'm going to need about 12 of those gels. And given that they're $135 for 30 gels, it means this is gonna cost me about $50 to fuel this on SIS beta fuel gels. 50 bucks versus two bucks, I know which one I'm picking. Let's move on. Uh, beta, fuel, beta fuel chews, uh, $110 for, a 20, for 20 bars. These bars have 45 grams of carbs each. So again, to use these, I'm going to need 11 of them and there's a pack of 20 for $110. So we're looking at probably 55 bucks if I wanted to use Beta Fuel Energy Chews. Pretty expensive. What else we got? Morton, Morton Gels. This, <laughs> this is where it gets hilarious. Morton Gels, 25 grams of carbs each. If I wanted to fuel with this, I'm going to need to take 20 gels with me, which firstly wouldn't even fit in my back pockets, but would cost me around $100. This is $60 for 12. So it's gonna cost me probably 100 bucks to fuel with Morton gels for this event. And then final one, we've got these endurance sort of products, good products. Again, there's nothing wrong with these products. If you can afford them, do it. Um, but just to look at the price. So we've got 45 grams of carbs. Again, they're running the one to one to 0.8, one to one, you know, it's close enough. Um, 30 euros, which is about 50 bucks for a pack of 12. And I'm going to need 12 of, yeah, so I'm gonna need 12 to hit my 500 grams. So this is gonna cost me 50 bucks for to use the endurance energy, energy unit gels. All right, I felt like I talked really fast in this video, but I wanted to get through it pretty quickly. So if you've watched this far in the video, Thanks as usual, and I'll catch you in the next one.